All of the best-selling cars in Canada are front-wheel drive vehicles. Since only one of the cars is equipped with ABS, it was defeated for this test to maintain equality with the other vehicles. For this comparison, the red Mitsubishi has four all-season tires installed. The silver Toyota is equipped with four winter tires. In our braking demonstration, the two vehicles approach at the same speed. At a predetermined point, both apply the brakes hard. The silver car with winter tires stops well before the target. The all-season equipped red car slides right through the target. In the cornering demonstration, the red car attempts to match the speed of the silver car. But its all-season tires can't match the grip of the winters, and the red car slides off the outside of the corner. What about the car factor, you say? Maybe one car is better than the other. Okay, let's switch the tires. Let's put the all-season tires on the silver Toyota and install four winter tires on the red Mitsubishi. In the braking demonstration, the red car easily stops before the target. The silver car now slides much further than before and well past the target. In the cornering demonstration, the all-season equipped Toyota can't make the turn. While at the same speed, the winter-tired Mitsubishi easily negotiates the corner. But do you really need to buy four winter tires? Wouldn't two do just as well? We install two winter tires on the front wheels of the silver Toyota. But leave the all-season tires at the rear. The red Mitsubishi still has winter tires at all four corners. Let's see if there's a difference in the braking demonstration. Not only is the Toyota unable to stop before the marker, less grip in the rear than the front leads to a loss of control and a sideways slide. In the cornering demonstration, the new setup results in the same thing, a slide at the rear of the Toyota and loss of control. Winter tires on all wheels is the best setup for winter driving conditions.